Well, there I am with the long awaited video. The Android 14 install procedure on the A40. The Samsung A40, a very nice phone that has official or I think well, at least support by Eureka team. Uh, the winner as well released a nice uh, Samsung S10 uh, port for this phone. Uh, it's on XDA, you can check it out. It's a new, uh, yeah, at least a new development, I think. However, um, yeah, this channel is always trying to do the most impossible. And it was kind of impossible to install Android 14 uh, onto this phone until I learned something that I did during the install of Android 14 to the S9. So in fact, Derfer, Derfer is as well, uh, it's as well thanks to him that I got those files for the S9. And it was thanks to Dylan Neve that Android 14 was even spoken about uh, to install on the on the S9. Even though it was not working, I did find the way to make it work. And that was the last step. You guys don't um, probably watched the S9 video properly, but those that watch the S9 video can install Android 14 to this phone. So let's go into a recovery mode and let me explain it exactly to you. So Cosmin and Harald <laughs> will be very, very happy today. So this video is effect as well for them. Well, no, Cosmin has the A20. You can try it, Cosmin. You can try this, what I'm gonna show. All right, it's not working on the A10. I already tried. In some way, the A10 is, yeah, it's, it's going into, it turn, it's turning itself off crazy. I don't know. So let's go into a recovery. Oh yeah, by the way, you will need Orange Fox recovery. Probably you can as well do it with work, but I think Orange Fox is good because the example that I'm gonna show is as well showing the Orange Fox recovery. Okay, welcome again. So here we are with the A40. Let's put this thing in a recovery mode. That is volume up and power and let go. I'm not sure if I need to be connected to the USB-C cable, but let's do that. Let me see. Okay, it's going into Orange Fox. Very, very nice. Let me see if all the files are still here so I can easily show you what you need to do. Okay, so you install Orange Fox. Let me see, I don't have any file here. Micro SD card, no. Uh, let me see, SD card. Okay, nothing. So probably I will have to do a formatting of the data to get started. So you, you start with doing a cleanup, yeah? You format data. You type yes, you confirm, and then I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to kill my system. I'm good with my system. And then you reboot back into recovery. And then my friends, you flash the GSI. Now, I think that I flashed let me see, um, image. Okay, the GSI that I used uh, onto the uh, A40, that was the GSI by Ponsus. Ponsus has a very nice GSI that comes with gaps. Uh, yeah, camera don't work, uh, but yeah, the thing boots, at least the thing boots and yeah, brings uh, that satisfaction that Android 14 at least boots on the A40. And so, um, 
yeah, uh, you will as well need a patch, the patch that I showed uh, in the S9 video, that is a sort of medicine, yeah, Th these two files you need, all right, and if I was you, if I was you, I would restore, restore the device first back to official, and then install twerp, and then install the GSI, at least not twerp, orange fox, and then install the GSI, you install the patch, and let me show you what you should do more. Okay, you formatted data, you typed yes and rebooted back into recovery, copy the two files to the phone, and then you first flash the GSI image to the system partition, and secondly, you will flash the patch that you as well copy to the phone, and then you are ready for the final step. And after you're done, now comes the very, very big secret of this all, because then it won't boot yet. It, it will absolutely not boot. So you can try it, but it won't boot. What you then should do is hit the three little dots here, or stripes, and then you go to Manage Partitions, and then you select Data, and here, you're going to change it to FS. So take a good look. You're going to manage partitions. And then you're going to select data. And you hit the little OK here. And then you're going to, other than format data, you're going to change FS. Can you see that? Change FS. And when you tap that one, you're going to see a row with partition uh seems to say this way and then you're gonna select the one all the way below f2 fs and then you swipe okay um i i want to keep my 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 uh, installation at this point i'm gonna do more testings and see if i can find even better gsis uh, and then you can reboot okay so let's reboot system and it will stand a while on the on the Samsung logo so there is a, a kind of long boot delay but it will finally boot it's uh, at least not uh, fading to to dark and then suddenly it reboots nothing like that it's just gonna boot you will as well hear the tutum if you're connected your cable to the computer. And that will be a very, very nice uh, sound for you to hear because then you know that you did it. And then in seconds you are booted up. And there it is, a beautiful Android 12 that comes with gaps by Ponces and uh, the kernel is by Eureka team, so let me show that. Maybe that can as well help the team to understand this installation and what their kernel can all do. Uh, here we see build number that is showing Ponces. This is by Ponces. Can you wait? Hold on. Let me try to focus. You see that? Ponces at the bottom. Release on the 17th of the 10th, 2023. Okay, even though it has the security patches from July, uh, this room was created in August. It does come with the new, um, with the new logo from Android 14. Here you can see it, July, uh, the kernel, oh yeah kernel we we're talking about the kernel so the kernel is uh the p6 eureka kernel r12 uh, 12 so probably you as well need to know this you must probably be on this kernel okay the r12 from uh eureka team okay dokey and yeah, for the rest, I don't know what to show. I mean, like, the camera is not working. So I 
just turned off the camera in 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 the app uh, app manager we have gaps wi-fi is working good phone is showing i me so i don't know i have no sim card i think you see i have no sim card but i probably it works you know you you can be lucky that it works and then you have a working phone without a camera that can look at you. Huh? I mean, like, <laughs> or yeah, if you like to make pictures, then this is not for you. Okay. Um, yeah, I installed open camera, but that as well brings uh, brings an error. So this device has no camera. That I think that is not bad. You know. Sure. You don't have you don't need the camera for what maybe yeah if it's your only phone then you need a camera but if it's your second phone lying around there just like my brother harald he has all these phones out there you know these these germans they have so many phones like these dutch people too many phones so that is it uh, my friends uh yeah i hope that this uh yeah explanation was kind of yeah helpful okay uh, the power button works so you, if you actually get uh, it's not so simple that there is no power button or i mean power menu sorry for that there is of course a power button but i mean the menu normally in the aosp uh, yeah, gsi's we must turn it off from here and if you're a noob, then you don't understand that from here you can as well turn off the phone. You see the power is as well here in the pull down menu. Okay, but uh, enough uh, about this A40. It's now time to grab the pine and get ready for the next video. I hope many of you will be able to install Android 14 or maybe an even better build, uh, better GSI that fits better with uh, the hardware of this device. Um, but yeah, you have gaps and you can play around a bit and test out and see how Android 14 uh, runs on the A40. And I must say, it's not doing a bad job. Ponce's amazing build. I don't know if you are still building GSIs. If you do, uh, I would love to request uh, updated GSI for, well, it doesn't have to, but if you can, if you find the time, it would be nice to make uh, an updated GSI. Camera does not have to work, okay? We understand it has something to do with uh, the firmware and Eureka is the one that will fix those things. In fact, I did not want to release this video, but then I thought maybe releasing it and explaining certain things that I did will as well help, help out the team in some way or maybe even motivate them to start working on Android 14 as well if they find the time because they as well have a whole lot of Android 13 great builds with everything working, okay? Better than this ROM. But yeah, this is just the next step. And the first steps are always a little bit hard to do. Okay, so um, it's gonna get better. I hope that this video was helpful. And don't forget, format data, change to F2F. F2F, F2F, F2F. F2F. So good luck and yeah, share, share the message and make your other A40 friends happy as well. The next video will be revealing the install uh, to the Pine on the old kernel. And Nemix, I told Nemix about this project. He said he, he could not understand that, 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 that old kernel that he saw, you know, in the video and that the phone even works and, and camera works. It's, it's, it's a magic phone. The Pine is a magic phone, so that will be the next video. So thank you so much for watching. If you think this information was useful, leave this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you did not already. And then you'll be welcome to see me in the next video again. Until then, bye bye.